Every single day we spend so much time creating pages, controllers, providers and spend time binding them together. And not only that, we keep repeating this process day by day. Now if that sounds familiar to you, stick around till end of the video because I'm going to tell you the way with which you can increase your productivity like Pro, Pro Max, at least for the setup part. Hello and welcome back. My name is Afzal and you're watching channel Code X. As discussed, we're going to talk about the Get CLI. So let's get started with a brand new project. And before we do that, first you have to install Get CLI. So let's fire up terminal. And to install, it's very simple one line command. You just have to say flutter pub global activate and then get CLI. This command you have to run only once. So once it is activated globally, maybe you can put inside a path variable if it is not added by default. And once you run this command, it's going to install all the dependencies libraries globally so that next time you can run easily any get CLI command. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first project. So let's write a command get create project and name of the project. So maybe I will say team X. Okay. And the difference between flutter and get create is that you don't have to remember all the options and all the parameters. You are going to select the options which you are being asked. So I'm just going to provide the package code X dev. Okay. Of course, Swift language, Kotlin language, and I want to use null safety. Why not? Okay. And let's also use linter from dot. And this is going to build the command for you which you have to write yourself inside flutter create so it, it just make it simpler uh, with all the options it doesn't have a gui but it works like that and once the analyzing is done you're going to get option to select the architecture of your project like is it going to be the get x based or the clean architecture based both have a feature first architecture which means that for every single feature it's going to create a folder and all the controller views and models if you want to keep it so everything will be inside a single folder so here we have the option i am going to go with the get x pattern and it says that it's going to override, of course, go ahead. All right. So we have the project up and running. Let's quickly jump inside the project team X and I will write a command to fire up VS code. Simple. So that's how you create a project with the get CLI. Now, if you look inside lib folder, you're going to have all the routes set up for you so that you can start immediately like if you see the main file all the pages are set the initial directory and everything is up and running you just have to run the application and your initial page will be set up with all those bindings controllers and views in place this is all about creating application from scratch but what if you want to add additional modules or pages inside your existing application well get cli provides option for that as well so what you can do let me just minimize everything so that you can see what all the chains are happening okay so as of now there's only one module home and what i'm gonna do go to terminal here okay let me just clear everything and i'm gonna write get create and this time instead of project we will say page and let's say that I want to create a login module. Let's see what happens. It has created five files or maybe like three files it has created and modified two of them. And if you see over here inside modules, we got a login folder. There's a binding for the login controller is created and view is created. And also inside routes folder, you're going to find instance for login and it is already being added to list of the pages. And this is all done with single command using get CLI. Okay, you may be thinking that it's fine, we can create a project, we can create new modules, right? But what if I want to add just a single page to the existing module? Get CLI covered you there as well. So what you can do is, let me just collapse all of them and we'll keep the view folder open inside login. So maybe your login consists of an OTP page. So what you can do, get create view, instead of writing page, you write a view and say OTP. You don't have to say OTP page or OTP view. It's gonna append that word in front of it. So just say OTP and then you have to specify 
where you want to create this. So I will say on login. Here, login is the name of the module which you already created. So I am going to create the OTP view on a login folder. Let's see how does it work. So it has created one file here, OTP view. Now you can see and it has put it inside a views folder. So that is one cool thing about this and it has a get view set up with that. And similarly, if you want to create just controller, then you can write get create controller name of the controller on this folder and get CLI is going to do the rest of the job. If you're finding this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't subscribe. I got enough of the subscribers. So stay away from that red button, but make sure to give it a like. You can even create a model from existing JSON. You don't need to go to any third party site for that. So let me just show you an example. You can just say get generate. Okay. Because this is something you're generating. Uh, get to generate model and you can provide a name of the folder again here like on which uh, which module you want to create this model or you just want to create publicly so in that case it will put inside a data folder so I'm just going to create a general model get create get generate model okay from now here you can specify the URL it should return JSON data okay so I'm going to specify a URL which I have. So this is one of the API which returns JSON data. So let's see if it works or not, or if I have entered the URL correctly or not. Let's see. Okay, it is asking name of the model. So I'm going to say Kofi. And here you have it. It generated two files. Okay, one contains the model and other contains the way to fetch that model with the HTTP calls. Let's check that out. Uh, hopefully it is inside data folder. It is outside of the modules because we just created a model. We didn't specify it on which folder on which module we want. So it has created inside data. There's a model, Kofi model. And now here you can see the JSON which it has generated. Now let me just show you the API. This is the JSON which it parsed and generated a model for you. Easy, right? Now I know that it's not super useful in some cases where you have to specify the headers, specify the parameters for the API, but anywhere if you have a sample JSON ready with you, you can just provide as a source and it's going to create a model for you. Okay, so let's check the provider as well. And it is not about that provider package. It is providing you the coffee so that's why coffee provider okay and it is using get connect in build so you don't have to install http package and it has generated all the different uh, methods like get coffee post coffee delete coffee it's not you know super useful at this point because you will not create all the providers different like your base implementation for http will be different so you can just simply <laughs> delete this provider because to be honest, it's not super useful, but the model part, yes, it, it worth a lot because with just providing JSON data, you are generating a model which is null safe ready. Yeah, that solves a big purpose. Apart from these, GetCLI also provides some handy commands with which you can install packages, multiple packages at one time. You can uninstall multiple packages at one time, right? So you have to write something like get install Okay, and name of the package like internationalization. So, okay, installing package and it's done. Bam. So overall, Get CLI really pushes your productivity to the next level, to the pro level, and you don't have to spend time on something which can be done easily and which is just a boilerplate code when you're creating a page, setting up a controller, binding them together. So these all things your machine can handle. You just have to focus on writing a business logic, getting the data from the server and such things, right? So make sure to hit the like button. And as I said, don't hit the subscribe because it's too much to handle. So write on the feedback if you enjoyed. And let me know also that if you have used GetCLI before or if you're interested to use GetCLI or any kind of other command line interface you have used to generate code inside Flutter. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.